So what is a makerspace? Uh, and of course there is no answer to that because they're all so different, but at the heart of them is a sense of not consuming, but picking up objects and saying, ah, oh, how can I make this better? What's inside this? What were the processes that led to this? How can I take it apart, take out the pieces and mash, mash them up into something unexpected? And of course, something unexpected characterizes what happens in maker spaces. Children come in because they're excited that they can program a little tiny computer and they think, well, maybe if I send it up into space, I could, uh, I could find out about the atmosphere. I could send my toy to the upper limits of the stratosphere. And then while their teddy bear is in space, they realize that temperature changes and pressure changes. And maybe when the balloon bursts and their teddy bear falls to Earth, they learn some physics too. Maker spaces are places where you're never quite sure what's going to happen. But what does happen on the way is engagement, is inquiry, is a sense of how is this done? How can I do it better? And the fascinating thing is that children and adults in these maker spaces are also saying to themselves, how could I do learning better? How can I mash up my ideas about learning to build better learning too? So, the makerspace is like a little Trojan horse. It's full of ingenuity. The ingenuity is building better minds and better collaboration. And you know what? It's building better learning too. It's enormously exciting.